So let's get the read on this. Does Jeff Bezos have a case? He's putting his own reputation out of the line and personal embarrassment that goes with it when he releases these pictures and texts. Now, keep in mind that the National Enquirer had already committed to doing a story and did release the story two days before he formally separated from his wife of 25 years. So they will argue that this was already kind of baked into the cake. Be that as it may, let's get the legal read on it with uh, Emily Campagna. We got trial attorney uh, Brad Mickle, and we've got our own Charlie Gasparino. Deidre is helping us as well. You know, Deidre, to your point, the line that stood out to me is this line quoting the Inquirer editor, and Emily, I'll d deal with you on this as a, a lawyer. Uh, this is Inquirer editor uh, Dylan Howard emailing to uh, the Bezos team. It would give us no pleasure to send this email. I hope common sense can prevail and quickly about saying that unless you exonerate us and say that this is not, you know, there's nothing on tour going on here with this, uh, with the stories we're doing, more, more hell will come. That, that sounds like a threat. It does sound like a threat, and that's kind of the whole thing. When you when you said common sense, when we distill this down, do we want to have as legal a an aggressive bordering tactic of threatening the publish the publication of new, stolen nude photographs for someone? Absolutely not. And it's also pretty clear that there that the thing of value that AMI saw was clearly not only the investigation itself, but what it was uncovering. Right? There was a potentially large threats to them in that capacity. Although now the fact that they are likely engaging in criminal conduct opens the door for a tremendous amount of ramifications for them with the DOJ in the Southern District of New York. All right, so Brad, at the core here is, did American media, through the Inquirer, know full well that it was going to release still more threatening material, after already having done so, to let Jeff Bezos know that this is serious, and, and hold over them the possibility, we won't release that if you do this. Isn't so. that a threat? I don't think so. I, I think this is just like the Super Bowl of the billionaires. You have AMI versus the Post. You have Trump versus Bezos. But if you look at what was communicated... The president is involved here then by that? Well, I mean, there's been comments back and forth between President Trump and the potential divorce of the Bezos. Well, do you think it leads to any government entity that might have been able to get their hands on these things. No. Well, that's a different that issue. A whole different I think how they intercepted, if they intercepted these messages or these communications, very different. But the letter that was sent, I don't think, rises to the level of extortion. How can it not? I mean, let's look at it this way. A crime was committed, we think, by someone breaking into Bezos or his girlfriend, somebody's phone, right? That's a crime, right? Well, that's if that's what happened. If someone breaks in, that's a crime. Bezos hires a private investigator to figure out who committed the crime. Amid investigating that said crime, he gets a letter from AMI saying, if you keep investigating, did I read this right? Mm -hmm. If you keep investigating, we're going to release penis pictures of you. That well, they already cool. had. They had already no, no. had it. On they January, had them. They no, said they said we're going to release January them. January 9th, Jeff Bezos and his wife Mackenzie revealed that they're going to divorce after 25 years. Two days after the Inquirer had already informed him I that this that. was coming out with the text, with the questionable pictures, they simply had more. I just wonder if at that stage, Deidre, it said, well, what more well, What I'm be wondering, done? too, is so the source of the text and the photos from January, what if some people have said, oh, maybe it was like her brother? Now, I mean, can the brother well, be that's charged? Come up. Michael Sanchez has denied any involvement. He's a California PR uh, type. He's connected to... This gets even more But you're weird. saying there's no No, no, damages. I'm just saying that he, he is connected to Roger Stone, Carter Page. Right. He gets wacky. But you're saying, you're saying there's... I think the point you're trying to make is that there's no damages to Bezos on the release of the pictures themselves, which have not been released, by the way. I tell you... He's already... Well, I'm saying no, we they know, already had it. The story's coming out. He knows it's coming no, out. No, they never said they were going to release the pictures. No, but they said... It, he went ahead and jumped, tried to jump the gun before the release of this story to announce... He was separating from his wife. That was the No, thing. I know that. But the embarrassing part, I think, to Pezos is the pictures. And what they're holding over his head are the release of more stuff and pictures. But they're not all in this Inquirer story. The first one that no, ran, he but didn't, enough, but he held it back. He but said enough he that enough... No, 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 he didn't. But enough for there that he, you could argue... Well, gee, what have I got to lose? Absolutely. And I do a couple points. Number one, it doesn't matter for the crime of extortion how the threat was obtained. So they can, you can, you know, the embarrassing <clears throat> thing or the threat of force or fear or violence or intimidation, that is a separate thing than the obtaining of the item. That's number yeah. one. Number two, I think this 
this is a, an extreme show of, of force and power on Bezos' part. He's, I'm the richest guy in the world. Guess what? Here's this. You're trying to strong arm me. Yeah. How about this? He is absolutely throwing the curtains wide open but on this. But he's risking a lot sleazy. doing it. And he acknowledged that. And, and Brad, you can help me with this. He said, of course, I don't want personal photos published. But I also don't want to participate in their well-known practice, referring to the inquirer, of uh, blackmail, political favors, political attacks, and corruption. A clear reference to David Pecker's association with the president. Sure. And I think that's what he's going for. I think he's trying to tie this all together. But the question is, but is that's it a leap lawful? there, right? That's a it's leap. all a leap. Everybody's assuming what was intended. AMI had the right the letters, to keep the these pictures. They had the right to keep the pictures or publish them. No, just the like they, by the way, no, no, but think like about this, Charlie. Right right no. This is the, the world's richest man. No, it I would be it. a big story anyway. Oh. And this is a right. tawdry but one no, no, but that would already get a lot but, of But attention. I don't understand why there's even any disagreement about this. They sent him a letter. They said, if you don't do this, we will do that. It didn't really say that. What but I think in New York, and you know this better it. than I do, but in New Let's York, it. right, it, you cannot publish something with an attempt to kind of create contempt or ridicule. I mean, that's New York law, right? right this yes. is also the National Enquirer we're talking about. Well, I there's mean, also no an element of malice. No, but I'm just saying they do function in New York. Figure. Yes, absolutely. That's why, that's why when we get mired in these details, the bigger picture is so clear. Someone was threatened I mean, just to stop doing an activity with something embarrassing, the threat of something humiliating and to his Well, they made it very clear. They agree. said that just... literally the Inquirer editor, this is an editor involved in this, no schmo, Which is uh, Dylan Howard, amazing. who suggests very clearly that they would publish this series of additional photos of Jeff Bezos and Ms. Sanchez if AMI's terms weren't met. Again, I go back to the quote, the email that's there. It would give no editor pleasure to send this email. I hope common sense can prevail and quickly. Yes. How would you Sounds defend, what if, what if American media engaged you to defend them, what would you say? As legally? far as a criminal matter goes, you can't tell anything from that statement what was being requested or what it's was being offered. It's the editor now getting He's saying involved. It. Right, it's but there's the nothing, editor of it doesn't this say, getting give me this. It doesn't say I'm going to do that. No, it says, I hope it will prevent. No, absolve, want to drop it, absolve, that the inquirer it. absolve the inquirer. Yeah, that's, that's, a, that's a big different thing. I don't think the thing. letter says anything. It says from absolve a the inquirer or else we're going to show you private parts. We're talking parts. about criminal law. We're talking about. I know about that. That's called extortion. It's, no, I don't and think you want to so read that letter. I do. And especially, I think that the plot thickens when, given the allegations that Bezos put forth that the investigation wasn't covering in terms of Saudi relationship, it kind of, to me, that. It thickens the plot because it's clear there's a He owns the Washington Post. Washington yes, Post. Yes, of course. Target, of course, it was killed. Of course. Right. Um, there were a lot of stories that, uh, obviously, the Acquire had done talking up the Saudi uh, prince as a new, you know, visionary leader and all of that. So there are a lot of weird things going on on that level. But what, what if this investigation tries to get to the bottom of, of a government entity that could have gotten those texts? All bets are off then, right? Wait, you're saying if a government... Well, it, well, he wants to find out how the hell will this get oh, out there. Yeah, absolutely. So that he is obviously bigger. saying yeah. that there were other elements here uh, that had and found ways to get access to these that might not just be the Inquirer. Absolutely. And, of course, the ramifications from that would be tremendous, too. And I think that the He's larger... He's clearly inferring here that this is linked to... Yeah. Some, yeah, know, he's saying he's part of the yeah. Yes. And I think I, I think no one that's a leap there, but But he is taking the power into his hands, essentially, and again throwing well. open the curtains and saying, if you are insinuating this or you're gonna threaten me, then I will I'm going to put everything out there. Fair enough, but he does he hurt himself, Charlie, if you think about this. Amazon is a big if you really think of it a family friendly company, right. deliver all over the world. This could it taint the company? You know, and he I, is in the I, middle of this divorce. I will say this: couple things. If if the if um, AMI National Choir said, "Listen, we think that you engaging in this type of behavior is bad for bad for the company. We're going to publish the story," and they were on firm ground with that. The minute they said the letter and said, "Quid pro quo, you leave us alone, or else we do this," they get in trouble. And one other thing, Neil, I will say this. Um, Southern District, when it went after AMI on the initial Michael Cohen stuff, went after them not as a journalistic enterprise, but as a, you know, they dropped all that First Amendment right. protections. They couldn't get that. 
they're probably going to get in on this too. They're going to be treated not as a journalism entity. They're going to be treated as a, a but suspect. But if they violated uh, this mm. three-year agreement, they yeah, have. Well, then they're it really screwed. Yeah, they're, they're going perjury, yeah. obstruction. It renders right. them vulnerable to perjury and obstruction of justice, which is it's said in the agreement. It's quoted, and then also prosecution of any subsequent. Now, let me crime. before these latest lawyer clarifications. AMI's attorney John Fine had said, "We emphatically reject any assertion that this." Uh, that its reporting, referring to the choir, was instigated, dictated, or influenced in any manner by external forces, political or otherwise. Clearly saying here, They're not this doing it didn't for Trump. come from yeah. Trump. Um, they, they went overboard to say that, didn't they? I don't know. I think this still is more of Bezos' attempt to manage public perception. I think his role as a leader of Amazon you was think he, the You don't think he was strong-armed here? I'm not no, I'm leading out the so suspicions I, about I think, the White House. I think it may have been a foolish letter, but I don't think it was a I have one. Never, I think his I've reaction so many, right, over even, even, even the fact that American so media many, was already in the timeout chair. What do you mean? Well, the fact is, right. as Emily has been reporting, that essentially they got in trouble, right, for the run-up to coverage some catch-and-kill stories mm -hmm. that obviously they bought material and instead of running, they buried the stories. Like they got they in trouble. They, they got a slap on the wrist for that. Right. And so they have some three-year amnesty, right? But if they do anything that is slightly shady right. or suspect within that three-year period, all, then decree. they are able to you know, be able I to think, prosecute. I've done hundreds of stories. If they commit a crime, then they violate the well, agreement. They're subject to be prosecuted for... So so that's what I'm saying. Like, if, as a media and organization, if I already know I have one the slap on the crime, wrist, that's the wouldn't difference. I be more careful than going forward? Right, which is even more reason to suspect this letter is an extortion. But it they doesn't matter. Have so you're suspect. saying their lawyers would have vetted well, it? Well, I'm just saying, if you're, you're, you're clearly telling Jeff Bezos, wouldn't it be a pity if these photos came out? <laughs> yeah, it actually of, came from, of like, your a... southern region, and, 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 and questionable photos are... Wouldn't it be a pity if that somehow were to get out again? I, I don't know. I'm truth? reading all it's, of that. It's in the there. truth, though. right? But it's the truth. Well, no, he didn't say. No, no, say no, 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 he didn't say I'm going to damage your reputation. He hasn't, he didn't he hasn't say, denied these are images of himself. No, he has not denied any of these images. In fact, of course he's not. There it is. I think the bigger issue is nobody's risking a lot. He should be more concerned with how did they get him and who. Well, he is. That's why he hired the investigator. They did. They did say. They did say his attack was on. AMI. It wasn't on where the pictures came from because they didn't come from AMI. Listen, they got the pictures. This is classic. Someone help them get it. This is classic quid pro quo. Right. They said. Wait, that's not, not way earlier, I that's will say contract. this. Yes, it is. I wish it had more time, guys. It's not a contract because right. you need two guys, sides guys, to the contract. I will right. be the looking at it. I do you think it's this, a and I'll give you, you that. You during the commercial break. That's fine. I do want to end just on a final line from Bezos that is very, very clear in this very long and unusual presentation on his medium side, I guess it's called. Um... I prefer to stand up, roll this log over, and see what crawls out. It's starting to crawl out. I love that. Well, I'm more for this.